Pablo Rojas. Um, hello, it is Richard Martin here presenting at CNS Iron Maiden 2023. Uh, my name is Pablo Pichello Rojas, and I'm happy to be sharing our work at UT Health recently. And the title of this project is Postoperative Ischemia and its Clinical Significance Following Resection of Newly Diagnosed IH Wild Type Dorostoma. And in general, I have nothing to disclose. So, just for introduction, let's remember that Dorostoma is a highly aggressive primary brain tumor. And in general, literature has shown that aggressive uh, resection improves overall survival rates. Also, diffusion weighted images and apparent diffusion coefficient changes that are related to ischemic lesions can occur in up to 70% of these patients. However, the incidence and clinical impact in a well defined cohort of IDH wild type GVM had not been previously described. So, for this reason, we performed a retrospective cohort study of 324 patients. All these patients had a preoperative baseline MRI and a post op MRI within 72 hours after the surgery. Additionally, all post-operative scans were assessed by a blinded neuroradiologist to classify the basic exit of resection as well as the, pre the presence or absence of nuanced restricted diffusion. Additionally, other outcomes of interest were overall survival as well as uh, KPS for, uh, to assess neurological function. We defined this restricted diffusion as high intensity signal on DWI with a corresponding decrease in the ADC now. Also, nuanced restricted diffusion was defined as acute ischemia. And generally, Based on the shape we found, sectum, if it has the shape of a wedge, which is the first panel, then rib, if it was restriction or infarction around the surgical cavity, then mix, which is a combination of the first two, and finally remote, meaning uh, infarction distal from the surgical cavity, and finally control, meaning no changes whatsoever. So, in our results, we found that 53% of these patients underwent or had areas of neo onset diffusion. However, surprisingly, most of these, or less than 5%, were, have uh, new onset focal neurological deficits. Additionally, these were not related with risk factors of non-surgical infarction, meaning these were not related with uh, obesity, hypertension, diabetes, and they can most likely be attributed to purely surgical causes. So after analyzing incidents and prevalence, we found that the most common uh, or the most incident one was a sector with a 59% incidence, then followed by RIM with 32%, then mix with a 6%, and finally remote with 3%. So in general, out of all these shapes, the one that had the largest median infarction volume was uh, mixed. And also having a larger preoperative tumor correlated with a larger infarction area. <clears throat> also, we proceeded to analyze the accident of resection. And we found the well described benefit of gross total resection over sub total resection for overall survival. So, to further assess the impact of having an infarction, we subdivided these into the ones that did not have an infarction and the ones that did have an infarction in the form of the Kaplan Meyer curve survival analysis. And as you can see, only in the upper panel, this difference remains significant in favor of the GTR sub cohort. However, these benefits disappear when infarction was occurring, possibly meaning that the presence of infarction may negate the benefits of performing a gross total resection. So we also represented this in the form of a cap, uh, uh, sorry, of a, of a table, and as you can see, only in the non-infarction group when comparing STR to GTR, the GTR cohort showed higher postoperative KPS and prolonged median overall survival. However, both of these benefits disappeared when infarction was also occurring. So we proceeded to analyze um, also, the supermaximal resection core. So we, uh, in general, let's remember that gross total resection means 100% removal of the conscious enhancing region. Right now, supermaximal resection has shown to further improve survival rates. So this means that we extend the resection border beyond the conscious enhancing tumor region into the non-conscious enhancing flare region. Parting from the assumption that this flare region does not only have edema, but also some tumor cells that might not be enhancing with the contrast. So, surprisingly, we found that postoperative ischemia occurred in 37% of these surgeries, which, as a highlight, was similar to less aggressive resections, such as soft toe resection, near toe resection, or even gross toe resection. So, we proceeded to analyze, uh, to perform a multivariable analysis with a Cox regression, and we found <clears throat> that in this particular sub cohort, having a higher age correlated negatively with, with survival. And also, conversely, having a smaller preoperative tumor and uh, lesser signal post-doctor flare volume, meaning you resect more of the third region, correlated positively with survival. So in summary, we can say that peritonal infarctions occur in a significant proportion of patients, but surprisingly, most of these are clinically silent. Additionally, GTR is superior to STR in terms of survival as well as KPS, however, only in the absence of infarction. 
When it, we analyzed it from maximal reception, we found that overall survival was negatively impacted as age increased. And conversely, having a smaller pre tumor and less residual post op layer volume correlated positively with survival. And last but not least, the current study demonstrates for the first time that supra maximal resection does not lead to a higher incidence of post surgical infarction to less aggressive resections. However, future reports and audit reports are, are, are going to be needed to validate all these findings. And uh, I just want to congrat uh, like, uh, acknowledge and, and thank my, my wonderful mentors, Dr. Tan and Dr. Skinasi, for helping me, and also all my members from the lab, who I consider an extended part of my family, and last but not least, my wife for her unconditional love and support. And thank you so much, it's been a dream come true. Thank you.